Hello everybody, this is Dream Gamer back to kick off round 4 for Group C. Yes, it's round 4 coming up here. Starting us off, we will see Iron Dan going up against Moloch Corridus. Could be a big game this could be. A win for Moloch will guarantee their place into the last 32. A win for Iron Dan will thrust them right back into the mix. And then we will see poor old Balazos going up against Random Shy Ghost. And then we will see seven shots taking a cracker ultimate Dino King. So, yeah, let's not dilly dally. Let's get on with our first matchup, which, as I said, is Iron Dan against Moloch. Iron Dan getting a crucial win last time out against seven shots to give himself a fighting chance of getting out of this group, but needs to back it up with another win. Because they still, they still need to play a bit of catch up. But okay, up first for Iron Dan is Aranosaurus. Didn't see too much of this guy against seven shots. Iron Dan was playing catch up throughout most of the match, but in the blue corner for Moloch Horridus, we got the definite wild card of this team, the Sychania. Only a what is only a wild card because of the move set it has, which has worked so far. In fairness to Moloch, it has actually worked, and it has got them to the position they're in. And as I said a win for Moloch will take them through to the last 32, and I'd say they deserve to be there. Oh look, it's. It's Space Pirate Seth against no Alpha Gang Seth. Ooh, good start from Moloch. Getting the first hit. Here's the tie bomb. Choo. Ooh, but the Aranosaurus responding with a hit. Now, normally, Aranosaurus would have the type advantage here, but this Cychania doesn't have any Earth moves, so that type advantage will not apply. Oh, it's Dino Stuffer. Dino Stuffer coming in here, stuffing the Cychania and stopping the Cret. How crucial could that be going forward in this match? Oh, not, well, might not be that crucial because Cychania gets a Cret off anyway. <laughs> oh, wow, loads of damage done. Moloch Horridus on top. But Emerald Garden can change that. Oh, and he doesn't get it off. Moloch Horridus, 1-0 lead. And yet again, Iron Dan is playing catch-up. Okay then, as for Iron Dan's second dino is a Kakiridontosaurus. And we have, this thing has kind of been effective so far for Iron Dan in this tournament. We have definitely seen glimpses of what it can do, how effective it can be. And let's not forget, it was quite good against Random Shy Ghost in Iron Dan's first matchup. Hasn't really impressed since. Oh, but it's a fire cannon! Iron Dan responding with his first attack. Well, second attack of the match, actually, because the Aranosaurus got off a hit, didn't it? But this hit will do significantly more damage. There's the tech boost there. No Volk Burst, though. Interesting. Ooh, but the Cygenia landing in those tie bombs. Will those tie bombs come in handy for Moloch? Well, so far, we haven't had a tie, which is not good for Moloch, because this is a tie specialist, Cygenia. But Moloch is winning, so I don't think he'll care too much. But... The Kakiridontosaurus has killed the Zychania and has pulled it back for Iron Dan. And will now have a type advantage against this Lillian Sternus. Well, Iron Dan has to make this pay. He's got to make this type advantage pay now. Got rid of the Zychania. The Kakiridontosaurus didn't take much damage. He's got to make this advantage pay. And this Lillian Sternus has weak attacks. I will say, the only saving grace for Moloch in this matchup is, um, is the fact that the Lillian Sternus' crit is Mayfly, so he could still get off a normal crit and do normal damage. Oh, oh, that's not good. That's not good for Moloch. Like, come on, you'd think, that, look at the size of the Lillian Sternus compared to the Karkar's. The Karkar's eye is, like, bigger than the whole thing's head. Look at that. However, Dino Illusion has been triggered, so that will probably delay Lillian Sternus' defeat for a bit. Like, look at it, look at it, it's so tiny, the Karkar could probably eat it whole. 
Oh, it's a tie. I'd say ties fi- Oh, the tie bomb has gone. Interesting. Ties, I would say, favour Moloch. Well, here goes the Dino Illusion. Iron Dan has definitely turned the screw in this match. Yeah, I'd say um, ties favour Moloch at this point. Yeah, there it goes. No surprise here. Kakiradontosaurus giving Iron Dan a 2-1 lead. But... If I've learned anything from my pre of our, from our previous matches in this tournament, do not count Moloch out yet because this is Spinotector. And well, as you, as again, as we have seen before, the Dinotector has the power to change everything. And this Spino will have the type advantage over the Kaka, so don't count Moloch out yet. Oh, it's a tie. Ties will probably favour Iron Dan now because again he has the lead. But the bar is filling up. Oh, here come all the ties. <laughs> oh, another tie. Oh my god, we are gonna see Dino Tactic. Oh, but the Spino Tactic gets the hit. Better get my codes out. Oh, the Kaka's down! As I said, Dino Tech that can change everything. So yes, while the Super Spino comes in, just put the Dino Tech there on. <laughs> I, I entered the code ready so I wouldn't have to edit it out. Dun, 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 dun. Well, come on, give me the Dino Tech there. Here we go. Although, the Dino Tector is not a one-shot, so even if Moloch gets the hit here, it will not kill the Super Spinal, so Iron Dan will still be in it. But look at this, the huge momentum swing. Oh, but it's a water sword! Oh, it's Iron Dan snatched it! Well, I wouldn't say snatched it. Oh, he hasn't! He hasn't! Look at this! Monocorridus clinging on. Oh, he gets the hit. He gets the hit. Oh, how crucial for this. Well, again, he's not going to kill the Spiner. Well, it, it won't. It's, well, it's not a crit for a start, but look at that. Boosh, splash. That's twice. I hope the Awakened Mode isn't on two. That won't be good, will it? I know, I'm just double checking... Uh, yeah, so it's on free, but it doesn't matter. We're not going to see it at this point. Instead, we're going to see... We're going to see Moloch Horridor snatch a win from Iron Dan. Well, last time out, Iron Dan snatched the spoils against Seven Shots. And now, this time, Moloch Horridus has snatched the spoils against Iron Dan. Oh, that could be a big, big blow for Iron Dan, though. Although, they will get a losing bonus point, but they needed the win, and they didn't get it. Oh, could that be it? Was that it for Iron Dan? Was that the chance missed? I, th I think that could have been a chance missed. But, as for Moloch Horridus... It's on to the last 32 round because they have booked their place out of the group stage. So well done to Moloch Horridus. Had to do it the hard way though. Definitely had to do it the hard way. But you know, that's, that's what champions are made of. Sometimes you don't play well, but when you get the hits, you make them count. Could Moloch Horridus be a dark horse in this tournament? Well, they, they are up against Ultimate Dino King in the next round. And as I said, after Moloch's first match in this tournament, Ultima Dino Kick might be looking a bit nervous. Could that winning streak be going bye-bye? Well, it could go bye-bye against seven shots. Let's not forget that. But anyway, enough of that. Enough about that. Let's move on to our next matchup of this session, which sees Balazos taking a crack at random Shy Ghost. Okay, then. In the right corner for Balazos. It's a Gojirasaurus. Balazos, winless in this tournament so far, has... It really not happened for him, unfortunately. But 
You know, this at least they're still in with a chance of getting out of this group. Especially given the... F well, yeah, the first result didn't really matter. It's this match that matters for Balas also. In the blue corner for Random Shy Ghost is Spinosaurus. Can Random Shy Ghost bounce back after getting beat by the champ last round? A win for Random Shy Ghost will, I think, will take them through. Yeah, we'll all but guarantee this passage into the last 32 should Ultimate Dino King defeat seven shots. However, a win for Balazos will put them right back in the mix, but anything other than a win, though, will eliminate Balazos. So, it's win or bust for Balazos, basically. If they win this match, they give, them, give themselves a real good chance of getting out of the group. If they lose, then they're out. Oh, that's not a good start, though, but Dino Illusion has been triggered. Oh, and he's going to need that Dino Illusion to survive. Spinosaurus getting off a crit, but the Dino Illusion said no. Oh, oh well, the Gojirasaurus is going to die anyway because of Futaba Cannon. And this Spino is heroic type, so this is still this is going to do more damage than it usually would. Boosh. Nighty Night Gojirasaurus. 1-0 lead for Balazos. No, for a random Shy Ghost. However, Balazos' second Dino is a Pentaceratops, and this Pentaceratops has the type advantage over the Spino. And that could be just what Balazos needs to get back in this match. Well, I, I genuinely feel bad for Balazos. You know, they haven't got a win yet. I, I think they will win one match, at least one match in this tournament. I don't think they'll go winless. But again, it's this match they need to win to give themselves a glimmer of hope. And so far, they are not winning. Oh, there's a tie. Oh, it's a Gatlin spark! Could that be what Balazos needs to get back in this match? This could be lethal for the Spinal, actually. Oh, nope. But look at that damage! Impressive from the Penta! Ooh! Has Balazos stolen this match's momentum? Pulling it back! Oh, actually, never mind, because this Stegosaurus will have the type advantage over Pentaceratops. Random Shy Ghost still on top, but Balazos pulling it back, in fairness. But again, Stegosaurus has the type advantage, so yeah, I fully expect Random Shy Ghost to have a 2 win lead. And all it will probably take is one hit, especially if that hits a crit. Ooh, but Balazos is getting hits. Will we see Electric Charge? No, we won't. Yeah, there it is. <laughs> Yeah, this is probably, with a type advantage, is probably going to kill Pentaceratops. But, do not count Balazos out yet. Their third dino is Super Carifasaurus. Um, the Awaker mode is on free. This Carifasaurus does have the type advantage, and as I said, one super impact can change everything. Especially with Carifasaurus' super powered crit. Can Balazos get back in this match? Well, he needs to. Because, as I said, if he loses this match, it's all but over. Ooh, an egg attack? That could be useful. Just double check your weight. Yeah, weight mode on three. You bitty spitty spit. The pointless technique boost there. Oh, but the stag gets a hit. But again, type advantage is going to save the Carifasaurus from taking too much damage. So, well, this is a hit from Random Shy Ghost. It won't be a major... Well, it's not a major one. Twice. However, that is a major hit. It's a spike arrows. And this, despite the type disadvantage, is going to do damage. 
Well, if there was ever a time for Balazos to get the hit while in Awaken mode, it was now. Oh no, he didn't get it! Oh no! Yeah, that's it. Yeah, that's, that's gonna be game. Like, you might get a super impact off and pull it back, but yeah, I think that's Balazos done. Random Shy goes bouncing back with a possible bonus point. Yeah, there it is. Oh, maybe not. Okay, there it is. <laughs> oh, poor Balazos. A bonus point win, though, for Random Shy Ghost. Yeah, come on, get it over with. Put him out of his misery. But yeah, that is Balazos out of the tournament. Needed the win and didn't get it. But as for random shy ghosts, that could be a crucial win. And a win that all but secures their place in the last 32. Again, that will only apply if Seven Shots gets defeated by Ultima Dino King. Well, speaking of that matchup, it's time for Ultima Dino King to have a go at Seven Shots. Right then, in the red corner, four. Seven Shots is a sorrow Faganax. Seven Shots needs to get a win here, but it's not going to be easy. Defeat here will put Moloch... Well, Moloch Horridus I think is already through, but a win here for Ultimate Dino King will put Random Shy Ghost through to the last 32. And then we'll actually have our established top three for Group C. Amazing, isn't it? Well, if, if you're one of those three, yes. But anyway, as for Ultimate No Blue Corner, it's Karanosaurus. It's going to have his work cut out, though, Karanosaurus. I think the key here is if Seven Shots can get an early lead with his Sorrow Faganax, I think that could set him up nicely to win. Oh, the tie. Ties favour Karano, though. It does have the green impulse. And it's Ultimate again, the first hit of the match. Oh, and Nature's Blessing as well. Healing up there. The Hunter type could be a factor now for Ultimate. Oh, another hit. This is a good start from the champ. However, however, Deathfire has been triggered. Oh, he doesn't get it. Oh, how crucial could that be? Ultimate Dino King getting the hit, stopping the Deathfire. Seven shots yet to get going. Oh, it's a green impulse. That's a 1-0 lead for Ultimate Dino King. And 10 wins out of 10. Ultimate looking really good to reach 10 wins in a row so far. Boosh. And let's not forget, Ultimate Second Dino has the type advantage over 7 shots Second Dino. The champ is in the driving seat and in control of this match. Okay, as for Seven Shots Second Dino, is a Pentaceratops. This Pentaceratops has been very effective for Seven Shots so far. It's going to need it to be effective again. Although, I don't know how effective it will be when it faces if it faces the Tarkia. Just have to see, won't we? Well, Seven Shots needs to get a hit first. And he's not getting one! Ultimate Dino King cleaning house so far. Um, I don't know what's happening. The random number generator is not being very nice to Seven Shots. Hey! Seven Shots gets a hit. Although, we have seen this before, where one person will get all the hits, and then all of a sudden, the other person will get all the hits. So, you know, we have seen it before. Oh, it's a tie. Ooh, Pentaceratops killing Karanosaurus. Yep, there goes Karanosaurus. Ultimate Dino King losing his first Dino and Seven Shots pulling it back. But Ultimate Dino King still has a decent advantage here because of this Tarkia. Super Tarkia, I might add. And it has the Awaken mode if it needs it. Which I suspect could be used on Seven Shots' third Dino. Although Seven Shots could get multiple hits off and kill the Tarkia, so you never know. Come on, then! 
Ooh, well, you know, it's, it's going to do damage, but not much damage. Oh, not too bad, not too bad, actually. I'll give Pentatheratops some props. Well, seven shots has definitely stolen this match's momentum. Look at this! Ultimate Dino King was in cruise control? Not anymore. Okay, yeah, there goes Pentaceratops. The Taki are getting the hit. Pentaceratops going down and Ultimate Dino King with a 2-1 lead. But seven shots has definitely pulled this match back. And will have the type advantage over the Tarkia with this and that Titan. So if seven shots can get a hit, he'd be right back in this game and would have avoided the Awaken mode. Wow, this is this could go down to the wire. This really could go down to the wire. Seven shots definitely pulling up a good fight after a poor start. Oh, but Ultima gets the hit. We are going to see the Awaken mode. There's a tech boost, and an earth barrier has our champ turned the screw. Oh, for Five? Okay, I'm just waiting for the number to change to, so I can get a good screenshot. Oh, it's a tie! Actually, that'll suit me down to the ground. I'll just take the screenshot from the tide. But look at this. It's a sand trap. Yeah, Ultimate's turned the screw here. Ten wins in a row. Looks likely. Boosh. Wow, look at that. All that damage from freaking sand trap. That's insane. And remember, this Tarkia still has the earth barrier. Although, with the type advantage, I don't think it's going to matter. I still think this Metal Wing will finish it off. Whoosh, whoosh. So seven shots pulling it back. Yeah, didn't think the Targia would survive to be honest, but ultimate, one crit away or one normal attack away from winning. With this Alpha Acrocanthosaurus. Of course, it has the Dino Stuffer as well, so it has protection from the crit. If it needs it. Which you never know, it might need it. Ooh, you just you just go back and think, if seven shots got off the death fire, we could be looking at an entirely different match. Oh, there's a hit from Ultimate. Is it enough? I don't think it's gonna be enough to be honest. No, I didn't think so. But one hit from Ultimate, and it'll be ten wins out of ten. Well, ten wins in a row, I should say. Ooh, but the Anata Titan strikes back for seven shots. Can seven shots get, guarantee himself at least a losing bonus point, which could be crucial? He can! Oh, is this not going wrong? Is it going wrong for Ultimate? Is seven shots going to win? Well, as long as Ultimate goes for scissors next round, seven shots will not win. Shots has snatched it! Ultimate Dino King's winning streak ends at nine. And that is a massive three points for seven shots. And that keeps his tournament hopes alive. Oh, Ultimate just couldn't finish the job. But yeah, good win for um, seven shots there. Right, we'll look at the table and we'll end the session. Well, that is how Group C, well, no changes to be honest, everyone in the same position they were at the start, but Ultimate Dino King or already through, despite losing, getting a losing bonus point just to make absolute certain. Moloch Horridus and Random Shy Ghost also tightening their grip on the top three, but seven shots thrusting themselves in it with that big, big win over our champ. As for I and Dan, well, it's a long shot, but they can snatch fourth place if they get a bonus point win against Balazos. And, you know, that seems likely. It seems likely. 
they could do it. It can be done. And I say that because they'll go level with seven shots. But by virtue of the fact that Iron Dan beat seven shots, Iron Dan will go above seven shots. Of course, seven shots has to be defeated by random shy ghosts in the final round. But yeah, well, round five is going to be some massive games in round five. A clash at the top between Ultima Dino King and Moloch Horridus. And then Balazos against Iron Dan. And then probably the biggest game of the round will be Random Shy Ghost against Seven Shots. Random Shy Ghost hoping Ultimate would do him a favour, but unfortunately he couldn't do it. So Random Shy Ghost un could be under the cosh when he faces Seven Shots. But yeah, that is round four for Group C, ladies and gentlemen. So I hope you enjoyed. And yeah, I should also point out that Moloch Horridus is definitely through as well. Because even if Seven Shots... Okay, if Seven Shots gets a bonus point win over Random Shy Ghost, they'll go to 11. But by virtue of the fact that Moloch Horridus beats Seven Shots, Moloch Horridus will be above Seven Shots. So yeah, yeah, Moloch Horridus is definitely through. Because if Random Shy... If even if Random Shy Ghost gets a losing bonus point, then they can go above Moloch Horridus because they beat Moloch. But then set, they'd still be a point above seven shots. So yeah, Moloch Horridus is definitely through. As is Ultima Dino King. But third place is up for grabs. And well, is between Random Shy Ghost and seven shots for that guaranteed third spot. But Iron Dan still has a outside chance of snagging fourth place. But for that to happen, he needs, well, seven shots to lose for a start. And he needs a bonus point win against Balazos at the very least. But yeah, that can be, that can be all for round five. So I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for next time where we will do round four for group D. And until then, this is Stranger Gamer signing out. <laughs>